Ever wonder how old your body really is? Not by birthdays, but by your biology. If you could measure just one number that predicts how fast you're aging, it wouldn't be cholesterol and it wouldn't even be your blood sugar. It's your C-reactive protein, also known as HS-CRP, and it reveals how inflamed your body really is. Now, CRP stands for, again, C-reactive protein, and it's produced by your liver in response to inflammation. And here's what's really important about this. High CRP levels don't just signal disease, it actually predicts disease. So in every longevity study, from the pheno age study to the grim age study, people with lower CRP levels consistently had younger biological ages and longer health spans. Inflammation accelerates what researchers refer to as inflammaging. That's when your immune system stays on high alert, quietly damaging your mitochondria. And when that happens, you get reduced energy output. DNA creates methylation errors that make your cell forget how to stay young. We're going to talk about that tomorrow on the next Daily Spoonful, so don't miss it. Your blood vessels and how it affects those is that it causes your arteries to stiffen, like hardening of the arteries, which is arterial and atherosclerosis, and it ages your cardiovascular system, and even your collagen, making your skin and joints break down faster. And you can really see the difference in skin, someone who smokes and doesn't smoke, right? Because they're creating a lot of inflammation every day. So yes, the number on your CRP test can tell you whether you're aging fast or if you're aging well. So here's what to look for. Optimal is under 1.0 milligrams per liter. That's youthful and low inflammation territory. Mine's 0.6. The last time I had it checked. Moderate risk is between one and three milligrams per liter. High risk is above three milligrams per liter, which usually means your body is under chronic stress from diet, sleep, or metabolic dysfunction. The good news is that you can lower your CRP naturally. I did. When I was very obese, my number was much higher, and I got it down to the optimal level. And you can lower it naturally and pretty fast by switching from seed oils and processed carbs to whole foods, anti-inflammatory fats like butter, olive oil, and fatty fish. You need to get enough sleep, move your body, manage stress, and keep your insulin low with a low carb, ketogenic, or carnivore diet. I've seen clients drop their CRP from over five to below one in a matter of weeks just by reducing inflammation at its roots. So if you want to know how old your body really is, test your HSCRP. Look back in your old blood work. Maybe your doctor tested it already and then get it retested. Or if it was never tested, ask your doctor in your next blood work. Because aging isn't about time, it's about inflammation. Keep your CRP low and you'll keep your cells young. If you found this helpful, check out my video, How I Made My Body 12 Years Younger. It breaks down the exact steps I use to reverse my biological age and get my CRP below one. And if you would like help building your own plan, reach out for one-on-one -on -one coaching at theprimalprofessor at gmail.com.